for exit. When Britain voted for leave, there are some problems. It took place in both making him a Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. And before you say, why did you use your voice rather from TDS? I give you to read the description because I'm not wasting time. I'm just making to eBay see videos because I have to finish TCBS in the final video. So I'm not making many breaks in videos because I have also my work on episode. Now let's begin. These deals have highest chance for Britain's future. I make school fail deals big and non existent deals because it's not worth it. The nine deals are spread in four types. Soft Brexit, Hybrid Slash Medium Brexit, Hard Brexit, and Hardest Brexit. Starting with Soft Brexit. Soft Brexit has two deals, Nanu EA deal and Swiss deal. Now I will go numbers from 1 to 9. The 1 is softest and 9 is hardest. Let's start with this Nanu EA deal. Because Iceland has a similar deal to Norway, and the channel is almost similar to deal to Norway deal. So that's why it's named Nanu EA deal and Nan Norwegian deal. I will give the best example which is Norway. When Brindle left EU, but remained EEA and probably re rejoined EFTA, there are some changes. For example, travel and EU rules and regulations. Of course, Brindle would remain EEA but left EU. But also means Britain will also leave European agricultural policy and European common fisheries policy. Meaning, he will have common fisheries and agricultural policy. But the regulations errors from EU will be cut to 80%. However, Norway will, for example, use 70% of EU rules and regulations to keep trade smoothly. This is because Norway, like non EU EFTA countries, is not part of European Court of Justice. And since non EU EFTA countries are not in EU, that also means they are not part of the European Parliament and European Council. That means they can't have legal power. Only power to advise is the option. They have all Court of Justice. It's called European Free Trade Association Court of Justice, or EFTCJ in short. However, this court is for only non EU EEA members. Back to leaving Euro European food policy, I mean agricultural policy and common fishes policy. Aside getting own policy on agriculture and fish, they have to tariff each other. That means either will limit tariff or protect waters. They can do both at the same time. That also means if they want to protect water, no problem. Again, they have own policy. That means, for example, they have flexible days as seems required. The minor side on this deal, however, is not being part of customs union. Not that means they have to put border. Your deal will be not a good situation. Nobody wants a border with Northern Ireland and Ireland and causing violence. That's non EU EA plus consent. Exactly the same. I mean, rejoin FDA, left EU, but remain EEA, free movement people, have no policy on agriculture and fish. The only exception is being part of customs union. So the border will not put it and causing violence. But the problem comes then. The problem is this deal is like remaining EU. Not only that, they have to pay 345 million pounds or 450 dollars per month even without plus deal. At least the plus sign is when you get leaves customs union, they have own trade deals. In conclusion about this deal is you can have one post on like a grocery one fish, free moon would remain on this plus deal. You have own trade deals, although or they had to pay 345 million pounds or 450 million dollars per month 
the EU rules and regulations that will cut to 80% regional FDA and it's a rule taker deal. Not real for autonomy, the as big Brexiteers once, especially on, on plus deal. The result? Nope. Majority of Brits, especially British MEPs, don't want that deal. So, not really likely to happen. Not even knowing are happy with this deal. Come on, the deal will have you help to get to prevent economic crisis. It will be, they will have no plus deal. It will have uh, a benefit to keep people happy. It will make you citizens happy. Hey, hey, hey. Remainer, get out now. Yeah, no. The deal is a rule taker deal. Even plus deal will still remain almost the same. It's not likely to happen, and UK will be harder if he will use non new EA, even plus deal. If Dean would for great Brexit, how about Swiss deal? The last deal on soft Brexit. The deal was a bit different than the new EA deal, or just many people call Norway deal. UK will leave EU and also leave in EA, but again, rejoin FTA. But while Britain will also leave single market, Switzerland make deals to work sort of like EU single market. The similar difference with non new EA and Swiss deal is that free movement will remain. Again, no matter how soft, give us of the Britain, there are some changes. But a bit more on Swiss deal. For example, travel and EU you know what, for EU regulations, I'm going to go from now on EU laws. Anyways, since this is not in EEA, Switzerland will not have to apply 95% EU laws. All that's not a plan. Yeah, free movement thanks to Schengen area. There's my being not in customs union, they have to keep free movement. So the hard border with Ireland and Northern Ireland will not put and causing violence. The next similar deal to non EU, EEA, and Switzerland is not being European agricultural policy, European common fishes policy. It's the same <gasps> as deal I mentioned, so I don't need another mention again. Excuse me? Why creation more blue when creation is not in EEA yet? The reason that when it's EU plus EEA or just EU, it marked as EU blue color flag. So don't call this is a mistake. And some of them will ask when you mention no custom union will meet hard border. First of all, Switzerland open borders, so that include custom jets, meaning the custom jets will no longer exist. The rest three, despite being Schengen area, that it did not avoid custom jets since it did not fully open borders yet. While all four countries are not in customs union, Switzerland did to abolish, despite being not. The reason is excluding Liechtenstein all borders EU. The West three are not. Liechtenstein and Norway borders non EU and EU and as for Iceland is complete island. Not really custom required for Iceland since it's isolated. Switzerland will also have to a like last year I mentioned, but over three times less compared to Norway. Around 103 million pounds or 136 that the million 181,450 dollars per year yes per year not going on like Norway if you want just same thing per year here is this You see this? Can you imagine that Norway deal, even plus deal, will have to pay around 3,990.42% of Switzerland to pay EU contribution of budget per year? That is a lot with the money compared to Swiss deal. But however, unlike non EU EEA countries with only power to advise at the European Parliament and European Council, Sweden have to have only power to advise on both. I mean European Parliament, European Council, European Court of Justice, although some of the powers have known it with, e with the EU and EFTA Court. Before we make the conclusion, I know some people will say, uh, Avi, Norman Macedonia is not in EU. 
why you look even you color different. No Amazon did not change their name, and it did. Even even accepted. But even though it's not an official EU member, but no the was Macedonia is technically an EU member, thanks to cha- name change. Please accept it, so does no the Macedonia. Oh, okay. Conclusion about this deal is something I want to say as last mission of Bandit, for some exceptions. You can not be using your money by giving all trade to make so that you think about it. But you have a hard to advise that you can do in the European world and you can just say that if you ain't caught. Unfortunately, despite majority of players and all British and people want this deal, EU rejects the deal because he doesn't like we get to copy this with you. Most of his people are happy, but not really happy to copy this deal. Well, this is our Brexit. Well, the overall chance is not likely. Non EU EA deal is not for independent as a Brexit, but EU doesn't want Swiss deal either, so not likely to happen. How about me new such happy Brexit? Let's find out if it's likely. But I prefer to call medium Brexit. It has also two deals, continental partnership deal by Borregan and, U- and Ukrainian deal. Now from continental partnerships to choose out Korea deal, there is not much info. So we need to comment how it works on these deals. Anyways, let's start from continental partnership deal by Borregan. <laughs> Now it was kinda like normal with a mix of EU and independent. UK left EU, left EA, and not rejoined EFTA. Here's the graph. That's the best info I could get. According to Bruegel, UK will not have any EU laws. That means <coughs> literally own laws separated from EU laws. But while they have to keep free movement, he also wants to control. But mostly so. The free movement will be limited. Free trade will remain. Despite he wants to leave customs union, he mostly wants to make sure if he uses some custom laws, he will avoid hard border. So the violence will not cause and keep peace with their border. Pretty much like Switzerland did. He also wants to leave single market, but again, like Switzerland, making trade use to work sort of like EU single market. As he wants to leave ECJ, again, some ECJ have no link with EU, they have powerful files, much like South Brexit, but no thing even to advise on EFTA court. With this result, he gains sovereignty, although he still wants to pay EU bills, but probably much less. 51 million pounds, so the divorce bill will be accepted per year, or 67 million, 57,860 dollars per year. In conclusion about this deal, pretty like Switzerland, but a bit more independent. The result? No, but the reason is different. It looks very good, deal, but it's not popular enough. Most Brits, even in peace, prefer Norway, Canada, Switzerland, etc. So, unlikely to happen due to lack of popularity. What about Ukraine? Will be likely to pick the deal after Brexit? We will find out. Last deal, that is medium Brexit. Yes, you heard that. 
you can make the dear fool greatly inspired with problem with Russia. Now we got a very weird system. This group shocking thing is called Deep and Cursive Free Trade Area or DCTA. DCTA works like this. For example, if they want to export Ukraine products to say Poland, the free trade will remain like an EU single market. But when it comes to Poland, it's not much to have to check on customs. But Ukraine knows if customs check, which is a hard border, put on UK. It will cause violence. So he he want just open the borders for you, play, so violence will not happen. If you can join this CTA, you will be happy for for those three. Consider the fact these we have under five thousand dollars per capita. Well, you can has over three thousand dollars per capita. In conclusion, this deal is so weird. That I will not mention, not in customs union, no EU single, single market, but can make you to work so like EU single market. So, unfortunately, this deal also suffers the same problem as last year I mentioned, lack of popularity. Because of this, middle Britain is not very popular. It's like people want soft or hard, no medium. Wow, not a big surprise. The deal made by May is a failed deal and it's also medium breaked. However, unlike to the host I mentioned, it got hate from people and in peace in Britain and the EU. So, extremely unlikely do, to happen due to who all two deals have lack of popularity. But I say prefer category seems a bit easier. Or you bit better if you did for the Turkish deal. We will find out. UK leaves EU and EU single market. But he remains EU customs union. So no hard border. <gasps> so Turkey can make trade deals since he's in EU customs union. Ukraine is not, and can make trade deals, possibly the last deal that a country is in EU Customs Union, and also Turkey must have to pay EU contributions, also last deal to have to pay contributions. Ukraine right now don't need to pay contributions, and both of don't need EU laws, they can separate from EU laws. Oh yeah, from Ukraine on, free movement will be finished. They can start controlling immigration, but Turkey have to pay for problems of what they make. Unless UK cause problem, he will not pay. The result? Sadly, no. Not only not popular, but also lots of hate because of EU customs union. Also, I heard my brother told me Turkey must pay contributions. But when they pay, it is not per month, nor per year. It depends what you did bad with EU countries. Anyway, will people will accept Singaporean deal? We will find out. Now, the first deal without any red lines. Anyways, it has trade deal with Singapore and the EU. Singapore have free trade and elementary taxes and duties and possibly tariff free. Now when it comes to borders, well, not much. For their proposal for UK-EU border, will eliminate custom borders, so violence will not spread, and Singapore has a unique deal for them. Now look at the graph, I will let you see for 6 seconds. So popular, but sadly, 
No. Hear what I call black line. A deal or a thing that is not comparable with the rest of the world. Let's move on to South Korean deal. The first deal without any red or black lines. It's like end up for the best of the since she's not in CDA. South Korea is in EDA and it's mostly similar to Singapore. Some of them are different than Singapore's. In fact, every deal have different laws. Looking at the graph, not much different than the previous deal I mentioned and next deal will mention, except that all deals excluding Singapore works. Free access service we can and label plus access some EU single market. That's all I will say about this deal. Not happen is quite made with Singapore and Canada, and maybe break city of dimensions. Lack of popularity. The hardest Britain with the deal at least is Canada. We see if it happens. Ah, Canada. We have the beavers, maple syrup, and hockey. As a deal, it's called Comprehensive Economy and Trade Agreement, or CTA in short, and it covers everything, trade goods, investment, and labor mobility, elementary borders, and more trade, and 90% of goods will not have any tariffs. It relaxes some the regulatory barriers for foreign investment, and our services will be granted from EU and Canada that will be for other countries in the future. Also, it creates new provisions for the procurement, intellectual property rights, and geography education. The deal sets agreements up to stand for the government and trade, including foreign be likely if they didn't agree for a deal, which they didn't. Get. <gasps> sure, there will be no EU laws and can control immigration. A plus. There's a lot of minuses and pluses. <laughs> they can make trade deals, another plus, but again, more minuses than pluses. No single market, that means they can't trade without taxes and tariffs. We know cause of union and agreement for border. Our border will be installed, but it will cause a lot of violence and nobody wants that. They have told me the last class. Update as of February or February 5th, 2019. You can get can freely trade with the EU for 10 years. Yeah, also a plus. But even that update happened, it's now resolved Brexit situation between religious and independent things you can can do. In conclusion about that video is, every has pluses and minuses on every deals. Some of them has mistakes, but all mistakes cannot change due to recording my voice. And it's very hard to change it, but you get a point. Sometimes there are updates happen more than video I made. Either we will face a crash with the video that will use, using Canada or Canada. 
for the auto video for hard break set, non UEAD or plus or switch video for soft break set, or continental partnership video or economy video for medium break set. That's for this video. The next video will be what's my opinion now about these deals I mentioned and do I like it or hate it? At least nobody there came here to learn in this video. Thanks for watching.